Hey everyone, this is Van Life Girly 29 Miranda. Van Life Girly 29 Miranda Miranda. Everyone's been asking to see my van, so you know what? Let's just start with my kid's bedroom or my kid's closet. This is their closet. Oh, looks like Sarah's there. Hi, Sarah. What are you doing, sweetie? Oh, she's reading a book. She's so smart. That's why I love her. What's the book, sweetie? Uh, how not to die. Really, Sarah? When mommy's recording a video? Really? After I'm done with this video. <laughs> yeah. But mommy loves her, obviously. Get rid of this. Oh my god. Oh my god. This is what you should be reading. Zero belly smoothies. Because if you get fat, you won't be able to fit here anymore. You know what? You're grounded. Go to your room. Yeah, stay there. So moving on to our bed, me and my husband's. <laughs> <laughs> it does come with a heating system, massager, cooler, AC, everything that you can possibly ask for. Yes, my cat does sleep with us because I love her more than my actual children. Oh my god! Van Life parents are still thriving on TikTok, doing their best to keep those kids locked up in that van where the parents get to sleep in a king size bed. But the kids, you know, the kids get a full, whole, entire closet. <laughs> And when I say kids, I don't just mean one kid. It's usually two or more kids sleeping in one closet. And after YouTubers started talking about them, they actually stopped making these videos because they were worried that CPS might take their child. I wonder why. Why do you, why do you think they would do that? Now they're back on TikTok and I think it's time to expose them again. This is night three of solo van life. We have been having Solo? an awesome time. We've kind of gotten into a little- So the daughter sleeps there with the mom? Okay, this might not be a bad one. I see things have improved. Okay, her son has a couch here. Honestly, that's not bad at all. And the daughter gets to sleep with the mom? This is one of the good ones. Bit of a routine. Every night, Ben's- Wait, where does the daughter go? Where does the daughter go? Spreads out his sleeping bag. Molly goes ahead and hops up into her bunk. I like to oh. make sure the van is clean because I like to wake up to a nice clean home in the morning. It took me a, literally three minutes to get it clean, put the vacuum up, turn the lights out, and go to bed. Rewind. It's, it's rewind, rewind time. time. I really thought that the daughter was going to sleep here with the mom, but apparently the daughter has their own kitchen cabinet along with the other ingredients in there, like uh, the peanut butter, the pasta, you know, just like the rest of the kids who also like to sleep in a kitchen cabinet. What do I feel like that the kitchen cabinet is actually safer than what she called the bunk? Because what is stopping this girl from just falling? There's literally nothing stopping her from her falling. Bunk. I like to make sure the van is clean because I like to wake up to a nice clean home and it's to get it clean. Look! Put the vacuum up. I am so happy that she has her priorities straight and she makes sure that everything is clean because who wants to wake up in a dirty, oh my god, that's disgusting. But the daughter sleeping in a kitchen cabinet? Hey, she might fall, but at least she's gonna fall on a floor that's clean and not dirty. Oh, oh my god. Uh, mom, I fell. Oh my god, sweetie! Um, wait, but is the kitchen floor clean though? Um, yeah, I guess, but what has that to do with me falling? Mom, I think I broke my legs. I can't feel them. <laughs> then again, is the kitchen floor clean? The fact that the dog sleeps with the mom and not the daughter? <laughs> All the priorities. We bought our van in May of 2021, and it's about time for a van tour. We okay, travel part time see. with our two little girls, and oh, it's she enough has two space girls. for the four of us. Both of the four friends people? swivel to open up the living okay. area, and the lagoon table moves easily to expand our counter space. We love the mini fridge freezer combo. It holds about four to five days of food. The kitchen okay. sink runs on an electric pump with two seven gallon tanks, one clean and one gray. Okay, it's looking a little tight so far. I hope the beds are big, you know? Toys are stored under the kid row and the kid row stores the one- Okay, we don't, we don't care about that. 1000 watt inverter and two one- Our power comes from the 1000 watt inverter and- Oh my God, girl, stop the yapping. No one cares about your doll sized mini fridge that has an inverter with 5,000 watts and kilowatts. If I wanted to hear about refrigerators, I would have paid attention to my refrigerator class. Show us the beds. 160 watt solar panels on the roof. This okay. is enough power to charge our electronics and power the lights, two max air fans, cool. fridge, and sink. Obviously they have the vents right above their bed. Frankie sleeps under the bed with the curtain. Curtain open for- 
Oh, the dog sleeps there? Oh, that's not bad. For ventilation, and Marin sleeps in bed with us. This little bench seat holds nature's wait. light compost toilet, which has a wait, fan that wait. connects outside so stink is not an issue. And last but not least, the garage. If it looks a bit chaotic, you're right, but the bungee net helps keep- Where does the other kid and sleep? For storage on the other side too. We're finally about to make some big changes, Where's so the follow other along to see what we come up with. She said she had two kids, and one of them slept with her, and the dog slept under- Oh my god, she didn't mention that she had a dog, did she? Oh my god! He sleeps under the bed with the curtain open for ventilation. Frankie sleeps in the dog prison or box or whatever you call those. Frank, I thought Frankie was the dog. Frankie is the son. With curtains open for ventilation? What if the curtains f accidentally just fall? Is Frankie getting enough air down there? This is literally a dock container. What do you call those containers where you hold your pets? You know these things. This one's for my cat. And I know it's blue and my cat is a girl. But you know I'm all about gender bending, neutrality, minority, specificism, bondage rules on this channel. That's why it's blue. But you know how dogs have a bigger one? That's what this is. Her son is literally sleeping in a dog's cage. Yeah, and uh, this is where my daughter Frankie sleeps. Frankie, say hi to the camera, sweetie. Hi, everybody. Mom, I'm not getting enough air down here. Like, it's it's getting hard. It's getting really hard to breathe. Frankie, what did mommy say about you shutting your hole when mommy's recording? I know, I know. I'm sorry, but I just, I'm having a hard time breathing, mom. I'm sorry. Okay, fine. Since you're oh. always complaining about, mom, I don't get enough air down here. Oh, my God, mom, I think I'm going to suffocate. You want more air? I'll give you more air. Oh Let me close this so you can have all the air that you want in the world. This little bench seat holds nature's head compost toilet, which has a fan that connects outside so stink is not an issue. You could have 50 fans down there and you would still be able to smell my poop. And how is the toilet literally next to the bed though? Like, what if my poop like really stinks and it's really loud? Not that it actually is loud, but let me poop in peace. I can't even fucking force it out without being scared that my mom is literally right there seeing me force to get, forcing it out and smelling my shit, literally. Here we ended up this is the woman that we reviewed last time. Send this folds down to make it easy for them to climb in. Latches so they won't fall out. Have our kitchenette area and a little fridge. Oh, thank God that folds down. Adds so much space. Hey, those kids might not be sleeping, but at least they're not falling. This is why we need videos like these, because after people were calling her out that there's no space for her kids, she actually did make some space for her kids. Believe it or not, it is possible. Oh, wow. Oh, my God. You could have actually given your kids some more space, but you didn't do it. You actually had the option to give your kids more space, but you originally didn't do it. Why? So the kids' bunk beds do look a little bit smaller from the outside because we had to put They're so railings small. on them because our kids are little toddlers and they will roll out of bed if mm -hmm. not. So the opening is smaller so that they don't fall out of bed. But then inside it's tall enough for them to sit up in if it's they want to sit in their tight. books or play with some toys before bed. Um, and it's bigger than like a crib mattress or toddler mattress, which most kids... Okay, so there is a little more space on the inside than what we thought, but the bed is still tight though. Just because you added more space above where now when they get up, they don't have to hit their head on the top there. What about the space though? Because it feels like you're tying them up and they can't move because there's literally no space. One of the advantages of bus life, isn't the answer pretty clear? The traveling, that's the advantages of living in a van life? One of the advantages of living in a vintage bus the is traveling. that we get to spend a ton of quality family time. Every night, we each take turns reading from a different book, and then we play a couple rounds of Uno before bed. You can't do that in a normal house? Like, you can't gather your kids and play Uno with them? This only happens if you're living in a van. <laughs> Girl, what do you mean by that? Just because you're forcing your kids to play Uno with you because they, you know they just want to be on their phones, right? And she's just forcing them to play Uno with them. Doesn't mean you have to live in a van to play Uno with them. Correction, we force our kids to play games with us because they literally have nowhere else to go. Maybe my kids don't have any friends and they don't go out to play with them and have fun, but you know what? My kids will beat your kids' asses when it comes to Uno. 
Timmy, come here. You can come out of the kitchen cabinet and bring your Uno cards. I need you to 1v1 this bitch's son and Uno. We spent the last five and a half weeks building out our 2019 Sprinter Damn, van. almost six weeks. Revolution. Come take a peek inside Let's take a look and at see this van. what we've done. We wanted it to be bright and happy since it is our van mm -hmm. The beds. Let's to focus sure on the beds. have a nice size kitchen with a sink and double fridges. No one cares. A really big couch that Ben sleeps on. Oh, okay. We've got our composting toilet we made. Which is literally right next to where you guys sleep. So you're going to be inhaling some shit. Me and Kyle, our storage. Then we have Molly's bunk. We've got Eli's bunk. We have overhead so storage up they above. They sleep right above you? And around the back is where we have our garage and our dog kennel. Look how big this thing is. Where does the dog kennel look bigger than the beds where her kids sleep? Let me get this straight. You have a huge bed here where you sleep with your husband. And your kids literally sleep above you. What if you and your husband want to... You know, like the kids are right above you watching you like... Oh my god, what's going on? What is this noise? It's like, it's like 2 in the morning. What is this noise? Hey mom, what's with the... Oh my god! Oh my god! The trauma. And don't tell me that this doesn't happen 90% of the time. If the kids are not saying anything, they know. They're not stupid. They know that your husband is giving the cat the zucchini. Y'all are nasty. We're a family of four. We live and travel full time in this RV. Okay. Come check out what my brother and I. Oh my god! This is the fanciest RV I've ever seen! Holy shit! Look at this! This shit bigger than my house! Sleep. Where does she sleep? Our bunk beds are right behind these doors. The top bunk. In a closet. Literally in a closet? Mine. We have a storage area at the back for all our books, toys, stuffed animals, and personal things. Where? Then the bottom bunk is my brother's. This is the storage area? Just because you're putting things at the end of your feet, that doesn't make it your storage area. And this is my storage area. Um, where? I don't see anything. Oh, my bad. I guess it's not that obvious here. I do like to store things in my booty here, so let me see what I have. Um, I have some lip balm. You want some lip balm? No? Okay. What else do I have in here? Oh, give me a second. Oh, I have my teddy bear from uh, last week. <laughs> oh, I think my storage area needs a shower. Wait, give me a second. What else do I have in here? Oh, oh my God. <sighs> How did this get in here? Whose pussy is this? Why is it that the parents' room is always so big, not even king size bed, a Raspusha size bed? But the kids, they get to sleep in closets. Only if this RV could have a little more space where they could put a couple of comfortable beds on top of each other. You know, like, not like crazy big, just like a little more space. A little more wasted space? I don't know, what do you guys think? It sucks so badly that if they had a little more space, Space for those kids where they could put a couple comfortable beds. It sucks. It sucks that they don't have the space. In conclusion, have these parents improved? You know, I could say like a 5% improvement. They could still do a lot more. You know, they could just switch beds. Kids get to sleep in a really big comfortable comfortable bed and the parents get to sleep in the closet. Or If you did enjoy this video, hit like, subscribe and the bell icon. Also, there's a magic trick. I'm not even joking, by the way. If you're watching this on a computer and every time I say the word like, I think the like button lits up. Let's try that. Like, like. What about the subscribe button? Subscribe, like. Like and subscribe. Is it working? Or am I just yelling like for no reason and I look delusional as fuck? I'm just delusional, aren't I? I swear to God, I saw that somewhere. Or maybe I imagined it so that was me just being delusional.